Welcome, 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 everyone. Today, I want to change um, a little bit of how I've been, um, the content that I've been shooting video. Um, I want to talk to you guys more as the barber concierge than um, Barber Stu and uh, some of the skits that I do with Barber Stu and then um, what's to come with Barber Stu products and those sort of things. Today, I think I want to talk to you guys about um, tipping, uh, the, the things that uh, people may have questions about. You, you have some men out here and women who st st really don't know what the concept of tipping um, is or, or how it can benefit them. Does it benefit the whole subject matter about tipping? So I want to bring that conversation uh, to the forefront. Um, you know, I come up, it's been three decades since I, I first started Barber. And I, with prices at that time being um, very generous uh, to, to the customer in comparison to today, you know, haircuts when I started was between eight and $10 a haircut. And to give a barber $2, $3, uh, uh, even the $5 tip, a $5 tip was considered pretty good. And um, when you get a, a, a 2 or $3 tip, it, it showed appreciation uh, for, for what um, they felt appreciated about, right? So uh, now prices have gone up. They're $40, $50, $60 on up. Um, and and now tipping gets a little tricky for many um personally and I, and I'm coming from you really from my standpoint about tipping now some of my clients that see this video are may be shocked on some of the things that I may say um some may not cuz I talk to them about it I, I first of all I don't even use the word tip I believe that if I want hypothetically speaking say I want uh, $50 for a haircut. Then if I feel that my bottom line is $50, then that's what I'm going to charge. I'm not looking for the, the extra, um, the tip. Uh, I believe that $50 is saying thank you enough, how I look at it. Now, if a, a person were to give me more than fifty dollars, because that's how they come up, and I've had some clients tell me that they were they were always taught to give what you can, you know, a little extra. If they did do that, oh, I'm I'm very appreciative, very 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 appreciative, and it's a it's a thank you. It's going to be though. I want to make this clear that it's going to be that type of thank you if you give me a twenty or a thirty dollar tip. I cannot. And do not feel comfortable differentiating one person who's sitting down waiting for a haircut and the person that's in the chair. People are listening. You know, you may not think they're listening. They may not be personally, I mean, they may not be purposely trying to listen, but you hear things, right? So I cannot say, oh, man, thank, man, come on, man, man, thank you. Give them the brotherly love and all that and sounds in so many words, excited about the $30 tip, $20 tip, a, a, a very generous tip, and the person that only gives me 2 or $3 and then say, hey, man, thanks, and um, show them as if, or act as if I'm not as appreciative than the other person, okay? So that's clear. Um, I would not do that, okay? I, I, I It's not that I, I don't appreciate I appreciate both somewhat the same. At least that's how I have to hourly act. Because it's just proper to treat everyone the same. When you're in the customer service industry or you're in an industry where in today's time where people are paying attention and you work in a job where you tell a young lady, hey, you look nice today. And then you have someone else walk behind them and you don't say anything, you get reported at certain jobs, right? So not to get off the not to stretch to get off the tangent, but my point is that I try to treat everyone the same. 
internally, I could be saying, wow, I could have, I really needed that uh, $20, $30 tip and I really appreciate him, but I cannot outwardly show it. I have to do that for everybody. Understand? So uh, when my client was in the chair uh, about an hour or so ago and we were talking about tips and I just felt like you tip if you can. My job is not to make you feel uncomfortable because you give me the straight, straight money. And I do believe that back in those days, um, that I, those three decades ago, uh, th that I started money, $10 could have been a stretch for the average person. I, you know, it cost of living was different then, but it doesn't mean that it, it wasn't, a uh, an issue, you know, or a problem for them, or it might have been hard for them to give that two, three, five dollar tip. So, so it's just a subject where I don't, I'm, I'm not all that comfortable speaking in a in a in a in a room full of clients and having a discussion about tips. So I don't really mention tips a lot. But I, after talking to um, my client, I felt the need to just get on the camera and just discuss tips. So what do tips, what does a good tip give you for me? And I can't speak for you fellow barbers out there, but it, I'm gonna tell you what it doesn't give you. I'm gonna give you my best, whether you are a big tipper or not. Okay, so you, you, you're not gonna get, I'm not going to try hard to give my best with one and not the other okay so you're not going to get better service because again i gotta treat each client the same um what on, what else aren't you going to get you're not going to get special clippers that i have in that drawer that's going to come out glowing in gold because i know you are a big um tipper or you give your appreciation in a in a financial kind of way like that no i'm gonna give everybody my new clippers i'm gonna give everybody the my, my best outliners i'm and I, I would think that many barbers would feel the same way um so you're not going to get that all right you're not going to get um let's see you're not going to get uh <laughs> well, I'm going to say this. You're not going to get really much of anything that everybody else isn't getting. Now, what 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 will a tip give you for for myself at times and let's just say for other barbers. Now, some clients ask can you come to work extremely early? Do I really appreciate um, the guy that gives me those $20, $30 tips and that person calls me up. I believe that I'm human and there's probably a chance that I might say, well, hey, you know, he's he's done right by me. They all have done right by me. But in this particular case, he's he's gone a little bit over and beyond because he can. And I may be able to um, come in extremely early. But if I can't, then I have no problem saying it to that person as well that I, I, I can't do it. Right. Um, if the person wants me to stay late, well, if you are, it's, it really doesn't come down to tipping whether I, so let me back that up. It doesn't, it really has nothing to do with tipping. It has to do with you and how we interact on why you're getting your service. If you, you know, some men, let's face it, they're kind of picky and they, they're, they're good people. But they they just want that 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 one strand of hair, and they're gonna call you on it. Or um, phone is constantly they're on their phone constantly, and you're telling them hey, you, or they're falling asleep, and you're trying to get them to wake up because you're working on on an area that's requiring them, and they're a little bit more like bobblehead. Okay. When I get clients like that. It makes me feel like, okay, you you got me you got me working 
let's just say it just a little bit more than you know the service that you want and you're not is is on an A level but you're not being an A level client okay so i appreciate people that do the best they can by me and i in turn try to do the best i can by them i don't know how you guys may feel i'd be more than happy to to read your comments when it comes to tipping i guess i just feel like for barbers that get mad cuz a customer doesn't tip i think that's a readjustment of thinking and they they're passing a lot of barbershops to come to you um and and we at, in the industry need to appreciate the clients that you do have and then you know those that just choose you to just give you their money right cuz that's that's a choice that they can make and give it to someone else. So I do believe that as a barber, you want what comes first, talent or personality. Now, some would say talent, but if you're a, a jerk as of a barber, you are hard to get along with as a barber, then you better cut exceptional hair to keep that client. Because I believe that a person needs to feel good about giving you their money. Right. They need to feel good that, hey, I'm giving it to this guy, not only because he he gives a good cut, but that he also is, in so many words, good people. And, and he says customer service is good because if they don't like you, if you're only your, your time is going to be short with certain people because people nowadays are looking for quality of service and they're looking for quality and cut. Not just one, not just the other. They're looking for your best, right? And they're looking for you to act your best. So this is coming from the Barber Concierge. Um, once again, thank you. Um, welcome to my studio. Uh, I got a sign that hopefully is not backwards. Um, but the sign simply means, um, I believe in giving positive energy which gives, really, in so many words, positive results. And I'm definitely about building relationships, not just the service of cutting. Now, that speaks for itself. If you're looking for just a barber to cut your hair that one time, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's fine. I, in turn, believe in longevity and, and building a relationship so I can service you for the next you know, five, 10, 15 years. And so again, not to hold anybody up, enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Welcome and goodbye. And I got to cut my own uh, uh, a video off because I have no one else here to do it. Peace.